Hi friends, welcome to the Vegan Cooking Series dedicated to showing college students how to cook easy, low-cost recipes while also talking about issues such as health benefits, environmental benefits, and animal cruelty associated with the vegan diet. Alright, let's get started. So today I'm with my mom. Hello, I'm Tessa. I'm mom. <laughs> so how long have you been a vegan? Um, your father and I started the vegan diet in January of 2018, so a year and four months. I think the number one reason is health benefits. So we noticed quickly into the diet um, an immediate loss of bloating, um, weight loss. It wasn't anything significant on my end. Um, probably about eight pounds within just the first few weeks. Um, I know my husband had more results. I think he was down 30 pounds within the first few months. So it was definitely health benefits and we all know it's healthier to eat more fruits and vegetables. So what a great way to achieve that goal is by simply changing your diet. And of course, let's not forget the starving polar bears and climate change. And if we can make um, simple adjustments on our end that not only benefits us health-wise, but the world, it was just an easy choice for us to go in that direction. I totally agree, 100%. So let's start cooking. So today we are gonna be making a chickpea curry with rice. And, all right, I guess let's get started. Okay. So your ingredients that you're going to need is some cooked rice, however much you want, that's up to you. Um, one can of coconut milk, one can of chickpeas, um, two tablespoons of curry paste, whichever you want. We're using green curry paste, you can use bread, up to you. Um, broccoli can be however much broccoli you want to use. We have one table, no, we have one half tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with two tablespoons of cold water. So I already mixed that together and it's been sitting and some chopped up garlic and some oil. This recipe is really up to you of how much you want to add of each thing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Okay, so to get started with today's recipe, we're going to begin with just your standard sauteing that you would do really with any kind of dish. So we're going to put in our tablespoon of oil in a hot pan, and we're gonna let this heat up just a little bit. You can hear it pop. The pan is already hot. Okay, and turn it down a little bit. <laughs> uh, then we're going to put in the garlic. Okay, we're going to let that sizzle for just a second. Let the garlic get brown, and oil is going to be infused with the garlic flavor. Then we'll add our broccoli. So we're gonna let that cook and simmer for about five to eight minutes whenever the broccoli softens. Make sure to mix that up. While this is cooking, I want to take a minute to talk about um, the health benefits associated with the vegan diet. So the number one diseases in the U.S. are can be prevented, helped, or cured by a vegan diet. So the number one killer in America is heart disease across all demographics, across the entire United States. And that is the number one disease that can actually be cured, as in if you switch to a plant-based or vegan diet, eating more fruits and vegetables have a healing effect on the arteries, and it can also be prevented by reducing the amount of plaque that has built up within our, the, our body. Yeah, and diabetes is another really big disease that's very common in the United States that can be prevented by a vegan diet. Um, and also, studies have shown that cancer patients who switch to a vegan diet have seen improvement in um, 
their tumor size, their tumor growth. So there have been studies that show benefits there as well. Yeah. So this stuff's really good, really good to eat. I highly recommend at least trying vegan diets. It helps your body and your health so much. And there's different types, especially talking about the vegan diet too. Notice today that we are using oil to do our frying. We're also using our full fat coconut milk. So there are people who, if they're really trying to be health conscious, will reduce their oil intake as well because that will prevent the fat that we put into our body. Um, but that isn't really going to be the focus of our diet today, but it is something that if you want to see pure health benefits, that might be something you want to cut out as much as possible out of your diet as well. So some of the other health problems that we do see across America, obviously high blood pressure, um, and that has to do with the amount of fat and cholesterol we have. But not only high pressure is an indication of other health problems, but that could actually be the number one cause of erectile dysfunction. Viagra is a multi-billion dollar industry a year. And if we go to our doctor with some of these issues, what they'll find out is simply just by changing their diet, they can actually change their health. So if you change to a plant-based diet or a vegan diet, you are going to lower your blood pressure and increase your blood flow throughout your entire body. So actually, erectile dysfunction is the number one precursor for heart disease. Lots of flavor. Okay. So, is it time to add our curry paste or do we let that simmer for No, you can go ahead and put your curry paste in too. And that is one thing that I love about cooking vegan is it's very laid back. It doesn't have to be exact. It's not like baking where if you have too much wet ingredients, you don't get your desired outcome. If your dry ingredients are out of whack, then it messes up the end result, and when you're cooking, you just, you don't have that pressure. You cannot mess this up. So we're going to bring this up to a slow simmer. Yep. Let that cook for a few more minutes. Yep. So as you can see, we brought this to a boil, and now we will be adding our chicken peas. These are warming up now. We've got them simmering. We're just going to bring them, bring the heat up for the chickpeas. And the last step is to add the cornstarch. And this is going to act as a thickening agent. And it's going to thick this, thicken this up into a sauce. So all we have to do is just let this simmer for five more minutes and we're done. It smells amazing. You can already see it's thickening up a little bit. So while this is cooking, I brought my dad out here Tell us a little bit about um, his experience going vegan. Um, I was always a big hamburger guy, steak guy, and uh, they wanted to do this challenge for six weeks, and I said, I'll do it too. And after five days, I knew I'd never go back. Um, it was literally that life changing. Um, I went to the doctor uh, the November before um, January 1st when we started the vegan challenge and my blood pressure was high, my triglycerides were really high, uh, cholesterol was high, not dangerously so, you know, they didn't pre prescribe me medicine or anything, but definitely high. And then after three months um, in March, 
I decided to go back to the doctor just to see, get some more blood work done. And everything dropped, not just dropped, but way below even the accepted levels. Uh, the doctor was kind of astonished. I was definitely astonished. And I mean, that's the proof right there. It, not only do you feel great, but your, you know, your health immediately changes. And I lost 20 pounds without doing anything. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thanks for coming and sharing. Yeah. So we have let this cool. It's finished cooking, so we put our rice on our plates, and I think we are ready to try this recipe. So you can use this as meal prep for lunches to take to work or to school, or you can make this for dinner, completely up to you. It's so easy, and I'm so excited to try this. Delicious. That would be really good. So full of flavor. Oh my gosh, so flavorful. Creamy. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you give this recipe a try. Just think about all the health benefits associated with this recipe, along with the environmental benefits. And uh, it's so delicious, and I highly recommend giving this a try. Thank you. Thank you.